The new exhibition at Leamington Spa Art Gallery and Museum, Watershed, runs from the 22nd of January to the 11th of April 2010. It is comprised of eight new and recent works by contemporary ceramicist Edmund Duval, dating from 2005. Edmund Duval describes himself as a potter who writes. He also curates and advises museums on installations and is Professor of Ceramics at the University of Westminster. His artistic work is represented in many major British and international public collections. The exhibition showcases a newly commissioned work by the same name, Watershed. This piece has been made with Leamington Spa Art Gallery and Museum in mind. Duval has been inspired by the medical collections based at the Art Gallery and Museum and the use of the Royal Pump Rooms for the delivery of medical treatments, including hydrotherapy. These ran from its opening in 1814 right into the late 1990s. Duval has attempted to reimagine a medical cabinet, a doctor's travelling case, a container with a very practical use. He looks at the way in which vessels have been used within medicine to store substances, such as water and hydrotherapy. This piece really does show off his skill in creating new glazes, and he has created some of the darkest colours he has used to date, including deep turquoise aquatic blues. This is very much a site-sensitive piece that brings to mind the original purpose of the Royal Pump Rooms in using the saline waters of Leamington Spa to heal. Each ceramic piece within the exhibition is very different and each pot is individual. Nonsuch, a work produced in 2008, is based on Nonsuch Palace, the former opulent golden palace built by Henry VIII in the 1530s. The palace no longer stands and was dismantled by the mistress of Charles II, the Countess of Castlemaine, in the 1680s. Duval has created small stacks of pots within pots, diminishing in size, glazed in opulent yellow colours and hidden from view. This is a piece that you really have to investigate. It has a small trough in the top of the cabinet and another at the side for displaying pots. It is through the act of investigating the pots within this cabinet, as they are hidden from view, through which Duval gives us the idea of a palace, once opulent, that can no longer be seen. All of these pots within the installations are individual. Duval does not have a maker's mark. He does not use, that is to say, a traditional stamp that one would see on the bottom of a piece of porcelain ware. He instead has trademark shapes throwing at his potter's wheel something entirely different at every take. On every single pot there is a final note, a final mark, a lip added to a long thin vase or an indent. In doing this these minimalist pots have a life of their own, they become unique and each becomes different. <laughs>